Very happy to be joined now by the newest member of the Browns, wide receiver Cedric Tillman, the first pick of the Browns in the 2023 NFL Draft. You're smiling ear to ear. Hey. What's it been like, man? What's this whole experience been like for you? It's been crazy. Um, you know, I had family and friends over yesterday. You know, I got the call. Uh, you know, I was excited. I was stoked. Uh, they told me, hey, we're going to have you here tomorrow at 6 a.m. So I was like, ooh, I better go to bed. So, uh, you know, I'm excited to be here. You know, first time in Cleveland and I'm ready to go. The Tennessee connection obviously is pretty strong in this building, mm -hmm. but it's been a while since we've been able to go out there and get a player of your caliber, certainly from Tennessee. Right. Is that kind of cool? I know you got to spend some time with the owners earlier today, and I'm sure they are thrilled to have a volunteer. <laughs> Rocky Top's probably going to be blaring throughout the halls of Berea here. Yeah, no, I'm excited. Uh, you know, just like you said, just the Tennessee connection, you know, the owners – you know, grew up in Knoxville, go to the Tennessee games. So, you know, I was with them earlier. You know, I feel like our relationship's already great. So, I don't know. I just feel like this is where I'm supposed to be. So, I'm really excited. Yeah, we think so, too. And clearly yeah. the Browns did as well. Yeah. But the storybook doesn't end. You're not just following your dad's footsteps into the National Football League. We'll talk about how you're competing with him in a second. But <laughs> it's not that often that your high school quarterback – also gets drafted to your team and you guys are going to be out there at rookie mini camp together yeah. you guys are going to be out working together i'm sure this off season yeah. how wild is that it's wild man that's why i said i just have a great feeling you know god does things for a reason i was supposed to be here uh like you said my boy dorian you know we're long childhood friends not just high school teammates you know so i was just on one of them a couple of days ago so when i go back to vegas tonight or tomorrow we'll be on the practice field getting ready to throw so I'm was that excited. something that you guys talked about though? Like, hey man, how cool would be you know, one day for in the NFL I kid, together? I kid you not. Right before I boarded the plane, I was like, hey, Dad, it'll be cool if we got Dorian too. If we got Dorian. And I was like, I'm gonna make a joke to coach uh to get Dorian, but I was like, I'm gonna make a few plays before I start. <laughs> but no, nah, it's cool. Uh, you know, like I said. And then I got on the plane and my mom showed it to me 20 minutes later. I was like, no way. So, you know, being able to play with one of my best friends, uh, is cool. And I would imagine that. You know, you were so productive at Tennessee, and we, we'll talk about that in a second, but you come in here, your first rookie minicamp, you want to make a great impression, right? But yeah. typically, you're going to be running routes and catching balls from somebody you've never seen before, and uh. in this case, you're going to be running routes, catching balls from somebody you've run routes and caught balls from before. Yeah. So, well, do you think that'll help you feel comfortable and be able to play fast kind of right out of the gate? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, whoever the quarterback is, but, you know, especially Dorian, you know, our rookie minicamp, you know, Dorian knows me. Um, yeah. He knows even if somebody's on me, he knows, hey, I'm still throwing it to said. So he already trusts me. So, you know, I'm looking forward to get to know the other quarterbacks too. But, yeah, definitely uh, we already have that rapport. So let's talk about your performance at Tennessee. And you look at back in, in 2021 against top 25 opponents, 535 yards, four touchdowns. He had three in that bowl game. You put up 200 on Alabama, uh, Georgia. He put over 150 on Alabama. Was that kind of the run where you're like, all right, there's no doubt in my mind I can play this game at a real high level. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, like you said, that run was a pretty good run uh, in 2021. So, uh, you know, you know, Georgia, Bama, SEC, I always call it the hardest. You know, those numbers weren't easy to get, but, uh, you know, it's definitely fun doing it. Over a thousand yards. You're the first guy since Justin Hunter in, in 2012. Yeah. That's a big deal. It was. And then you end up, you have your teammate, Jalen Hyde. He goes over a thousand this year. Yeah. You guys get drafted back right to, to back. back. Yeah. Crazy. Wild. What did you guys kind of say to each other after that? No, nah, we just, uh, you know, we texted each other. Uh, definitely talked about Jersey Swap, obviously. But uh, no, nah, we just said, hey, you know, felt like people were sleeping on us. Felt like we kind of slipped a little bit. But like I said, things happen for a reason. And, uh, you know, Cleveland Browns organization, um, you know, I make my name last year. You know, I'm proud. I'm going to represent you guys well. 6'3", 215, you obviously can run. You average 17 yards a catch in the SEC. Yeah. That's not a joke. That's against the best competition that there is at that level of mm -hmm. football. You come in here. So I imagine you are feeling confident in your skills. And aren't you excited? You said earlier you're such a competitor to show people, to say, look, this is who I am. This is who Cedric Tillman is, and this is what I'm about. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, you know, I'm excited to compete against my teammates, and I'm excited to learn from them too also. Um, you know, just soak it all in like a sponge. You got a text from Deshaun Watson, which is probably adds to just the surreal nature of all of this, right? Somebody that you watched on TV playing the game at a high level, mm -hmm. and now he's your quarterback. He's texting you. What did he say, and kind of what was your reaction? You're like, does it, does it make it feel more real, you know, at that point? It does. Um, it might no, make it feel crazier even, right? Yeah, no, it does. I was getting a bunch of text messages yesterday, then I got this random number. I was like, oh, what is this? And I saw it. I was like, oh, snap. Uh, but, you know, it was cool. You know, he just said he, you know, he was excited to get to working, you know, uh, just to take it all in, enjoy the moment. 
And, uh, you know, it was cool. You know, Deshaun, you know, one of the best quarterbacks in the game. Um, he's young, so, you know, we'll get to play for, with each other for a long time, hopefully. So I'm ready. I like the big smile on your face. You're excited about it. So your dad played in the league. Mm. You talk about competing with him and your older brother as well. Mm. What's kind of his reaction this whole day? This has to be surreal for him, too. And I'm sure it's a very different process than it is now than it was when he was drafted. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, I can't speak for him personally, but from what I know, you know, I know he's proud of me. Yeah. Um, you know, it's like I said, second generation, you know, all those long conversations, long days on the practice field, staying after, you know, he's been there. So, uh, you know, I'm, I know he's enjoying the moment for sure. Because your dad played in the NFL, did you, was the dream to play in the NFL something you had, you know, as long as you can remember? Yeah, it was. Um, there was a point there, I'll joke, I did want to go to the NBA, but my dad was like, no. So <laughs> I wasn't quite that good at basketball, so I made the right choice of football. I think you did. And isn't it also crazy that at 6'3", you're a big receiver, you're yeah. going to be able to tower over your opponents? Yeah. 6'3", in the NBA, I got a news, you're a point guard. Yeah, you're a point guard. You got to shoot like Steph Curry or something That's like right. that. That's so, right. Yeah, we made the right choice. I think you most certainly did. Playing in the SEC, the environments that you've played in, the crowds you played in front of, the passion Cleveland is that collegial atmosphere here. Have you heard anything about what it's like, the dog pound and, and Browns fans, just how crazy it is? And I'm sure you probably already felt yeah. it on social media because yeah. it, this is a passionate fan base here. Yeah, it is. You know, I've heard nothing but great things. Um, you know, highs and lows, you know, I heard the fans are always going to be there. So I've been trying to get the slogans, dog pound, you said. I've been trying to get all the slogans yeah. and get used to it. So I'm excited. Let's do it. Was Josh Dobbs kind of a, a Tennessee legend to you? He is. Uh, he was another guy that texted me, too, yesterday. Um, you know, we have a relationship, too. So it's cool. I kind of, you know, kind of know the guys, the quarterbacks are already going in. It's great. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It's great. It's a great thing for you. I'm super happy for you. Incredible. And I think it's something exciting about being the first pick of a team in a draft, right? They could have taken any number of people at that point. They said they wanted you. What were those conversations like with either A.B. or Coach Stefanski when you got that phone call? Uh, it was crazy. Uh, you know, I was waiting, sitting there like, oh, man. Like, And then I finally got the call. You know, we hopped on the Zoom. We called. They talked. They're like, you ready to be a Brown? I'm like, absolutely. So, uh, you know, it was great. You know, dream come true. And, you know, being the first pick, you know, for the Browns this year, I know that comes with a, you know, I got I to gotta make the team proud and make the owners proud, organization proud. And, uh, you know, I'm going to stand by that. You said you weren't, you didn't know for sure that you were going to be a Brown, right? I did not know. I was, I did not know at all. I didn't. Uh, I got the call and I was like, oh, snap, let's do it. Let's go. So, the perfect position. The way they described it to us, and, and we talked the night you were drafted, was it was you were an easy prospect to a, we loved what we saw on tape. Yeah. Great character, about the work, fit our culture. So it was easy. They didn't need to keep going back and back forth, forth and trying to figure things out with you, right? It was yeah. like, oh, yeah, Cedric Tillman, we're in. <laughs> sure, yeah. we're in. Yeah, it was cool. You know, we met, we talked a lot at the Combine and stuff. You know, I had a good feeling at the Combine. So uh, definitely uh, it was cool to be here. Well, it is great to have you. I always like to ask the rookies this or anybody who comes into the organization. You know, it's obvious looking at you, you look the part right. We're going to see the catches. You high pointing it over people, taking them down the field at receiver. We understand why you're here as a football player. Mm -hmm. But I always like to ask people, you know, what do you want the fans when they see Tillman across the back of your jersey? Maybe not football related. Mm -hmm. What do you want them to know about you? What's something you want they, them to have in the back of their mind? Because you play a game where you're wearing a helmet, you're mm -hmm. covered up, but you're a human being just like the rest of us. You got a great yeah. smile, obviously. And what do you want people to know when they see Cedric Tillman? What are you about? Um, I just want to be a great role model in the community. Um, you know, I want people's kids to look up to me. You know what I'm saying? I want to represent the organization well. So, uh, you know, being a Cleveland Brown is something that I I'm a cherish with honor, and I just want everybody to know that and uh, care for the organization. I'm still learning everything, but I'm excited to be here. Well, we're excited to have you, Cedric. Congratulations. I'm excited to see you get on the field there with your former quarterback Sorry. here in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. All right, thank you.